Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The world has already witnessed the widespread use of Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 drones in various recent conflicts between Armenia and Azerbaijan and Russia and Ukraine. While the effectiveness of the UAS is debatable, it was able to market itself pretty well in the global market especially with the countries having smaller military budget. Riding on the success of TB2, recently Turkey has unveiled the model of its first unmanned fighter Bayraktar Kizilema and it's going to be a jet-powered single-engine low-observable supersonic carrier-capable unmanned fighter aircraft similar to HL's CATS Warrior US under development. The Kizilema is going to be a low-observable aircraft with low radar cross-section and supersonic airframe. It will be powered by a turbofan engine fed by two air inlets. The aircraft has delta wing and canard configuration. The small four wings canards are mounted forwards of the main wings, which have triangular shape. The overall geometry of the airframe is consistent with contemporary stealth aircraft design with minimum protrusion and body angles seemingly optimized for decreasing the radar cross-section. It can be assumed that the airframe coating and the paint will be of radar absorbing material for better stealth. The aircraft has coupled canard controls for increased maneuverability and better controlling the main wing airflow. It features an internal weapons bay which will allow the aircraft to operate in contested environments while sustaining low observability. It will have a takeoff and landing capability from short runway and aircraft carriers. The aircraft will be capable to operate in line of sight and beyond line of sight of ground control station. It can be launched and retrieved from aircraft carrier or helicopter carriers. It features a retractable tricycle landing gear and for deck operation a tail hook and folding wing main planes are assumed. The UAS will have operational radius of 500 nautical miles and operational altitude of 35,000 feet with flight time of 5 hours. It has 6 tons maximum takeoff weight with speed of 0.6 Mach. Its payload capacity is 1500 kg where it can carry variety of air-to-air -air missile, air-to-surface, anti-ship missiles, guided and unguided bombs and anti radiation missiles. It will also be able to carry miniaturized electronic warfare pod acting as a stand-in jammer and suppress enemy air defenses to significantly increase the aircraft's survivability. It will feature an AES radar for enhanced situational awareness. The first flight of US is expected next year followed by its series production. Turkish military will be the first user of this US. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.